Close your eyes and watch your breath. Notice where in the body there's a warm breath. Focus there. Try to bring things into balance. Give the mind a good place to stay. Otherwise it goes staying with things that are bad for it. John Lee makes a comparison with a, having an airplane. Once you're up in the air, you want to make sure that there's a good place to, to land. You have a good landing strip, okay, you're safe. Then the plane can fly around and knows that it has a good place to come back to. It's the same with the mind. It's not that you're going to be here in the present moment all the time. There are times when you have to think about other things. But as long as you know you have a good place right here, you know how to create a good place, a landing strip for the mind right here, then, then you're safe. Otherwise, you're like a plane without a landing strip. You end up crashing into a mountain, going down into a forest, going down into the sea. In other words, meeting with all kinds of dangers. So give your mind a good, safe place right here. And then start thinking about the fact that you're looking for happiness in a way that causes no harm to anybody. It's a happiness that spreads around. Even if you don't think of dedicating to other people, other people do benefit. All the more so when you do dedicate it. They're happy that you're thinking of them. And they're happy that you're doing good. That becomes their merit. And this way your search for happiness becomes something that's good for everybody. Because in our search for happiness we make it wise. We, we become wise, we become compassionate, and we become pure in our behavior. In other words, we think about what is for our long-term welfare and happiness. And then you realize that long-term welfare and happiness, if it's going to last, can depend on other people's suffering. So you have to think about their happiness too. This is the beginning of compassion. And then you really look at what you're doing. You don't just go on good intentions. You try to make your intentions skillful. Before you act, ask yourself, this action I plan to do, what will be the consequences? And if you see that if you can foresee any harm, then you don't do it. While you're doing it, you look to see if any unexpected harm comes up. And if you see it, you stop. If you don't, don't see any harm, you can continue. And then finally, when you're done, you look back on your actions. And if you see that you did cause any long-term harm, then you resolve not to repeat that mistake. If you didn't cause any harm, then you take joy in the fact that your training is progressing, and you continue training. It's this way that your actions become pure, because we want to act not only on good intentions, but also skillful intentions, because sometimes we may mean well, but we can do a lot of harm, because we're not looking carefully at what our actions are or the impact they have on other people. But if you really care about other people's happiness, you have to look at the consequences of your actions. And that way you show that you care about your happiness, you care about their happiness. It's this way that the world can live at peace. It's when people are looking for happiness in ways that cause divisions. That's when there's going to be lack of peace. In other words, if you look for material gain, well, other people are looking for material gain too. There's only so much in the world. If you're looking for status, you might have to push some people out of their status. If you're looking for praise. Other people get jealous when you're being praised. And so on down the line. You look for happiness in those ways, that creates divisions. But if you look for happiness through making merit, by being generous, by being virtuous, by meditating like this, by looking for happiness in a way that is wise and compassionate and pure, then everybody benefits. And when everybody benefits, then we can live together in peace. So it's little things like this, being generous, being virtuous, keeping control over your mind. That's how peace comes about. And that's how peace spreads about, too. And if you think about the good that you've done, there's a happiness that comes. It's deeper than just simple pleasure. And when you think of dedicating that to others, okay, you feel even better, because you're not just holding it on to your, for, your, for yourself or for your own. And when they're happy to, to see what you're doing, okay, they benefit too. So this is how goodness spreads in the world. This is how genuine happiness spreads in the world, by looking for happiness in a wise way. So keep this up. This is how the human world becomes a, a humane world, one where it's really good to live.
And when, when you leave, you leave with, without any regrets. You look back on your actions and you see you didn't do any harm. And you know that you can go to a good place based on that. Keeps the mind energetic, keeps the mind lifted up above other people's behavior. You can't take their behavior as your guide, especially if they're looking for happiness in ways that are divisive. And you can't wait for them to change their ways. You start changing your ways first. If you take responsibility for your happiness in this way, then that's a real gift to the world.